Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to talk about my uh, U Palmetto Armory, uh, you know, AR-15. Okay, I want to talk about why I bought this. I'm not going to call this video a review because I've only had this for about two weeks. Um, so instead I'm going to focus on why I bought this rifle, um, you know, why I think that Palmetto is a great company and why I think you should get this rifle too. Okay. Now the reason why I bought this rifle is because um, I had this... Um, you know, uh, Smith & Wesson uh, MMP15, okay, the Sport 1 version, okay, and, and the Sport 1 version did not have the forward assist and it did not have the uh, the dust cover. Uh, so I, I bought that rifle about seven or eight years ago and I was using that as, uh, as my primary uh, training rifle for training new shooters and I had run about 10,000 rounds through that. You know, like it always kind of irked me that, that I didn't have that forward assist because, you know, you know that's one of the things I, I want to train people on. So, so I said, you know what, this upper is only about $200, all right, from Palmetto. I said, let me get the upper and, you know, I'll put it on that gun and, you know, I'll be a lot happier. Um, so, so I ordered the upper, okay, it was, it was actually $220, all right, and then a couple of days later, I see that Palmetto's run, running a sale on complete lowers uh, for $130. So I said, God damn it, now I got to get that too, it's only $130. So I ordered the I ordered the lower the lower I had sent to my FFL the upper came straight to me um, and now between complete lower and a complete upper you know I have a you know a complete Palmetto AR-15. So um, you know I, I you know I was kind of expecting that maybe you know it, it, it you know it's a, the, the total gun's like three hundred fifty dollars um, you know maybe it won't be as good maybe it won't be as durable um, so I received the upper first okay. And uh, I take a look at it, and I see the forge markings on the upper receiver, and it has a, an A on it, okay, which is basically the Anchorage forgery. So then I go and I look at the at the receiver on the MMP15 that I have, right, the Sport One, and that's from the exact same forgeries from the Anchorage forgery. So basically, you know, this upper receiver was, you know, the blank, you know, was is from the same exact forgery as the Smith and Wesson. Uh, and then I, I took a closer look at the barrel, and the barrel's pretty much identical too. Um, so, so, so that was my first hint that this was going to be a pretty good gun, okay? Because I knew that that M&P 15. First of all, it's got the Smith and Wesson name on it, um, so that that counts for something. Um, but then I've also tested it myself. You know, I, I basically run about 10,000 plus rounds on it, okay? Um, and then what I did is I found this really cool video from the. Um, AK Operators Union, okay, it's a great YouTube channel that I follow, um, and what they did is they torture tested, they torture tested this rifle to 5,000 rounds, uh, and the, the rifle did, did quite well, um, and if you guys don't follow that channel, I definitely recommend that you follow them, uh, they said that it was actually their first, uh, the first AR-15 um, that ever survived uh, that, that 5,000 round torture test uh, without any flaws. And basically, they're they're testing these AR-15s to 8K standards, um, you know, and they're doing all sorts of stuff. You know, uh, I mean, besides just beating up the rifles, what they'll do is they'll hold the rifle like this. They're firing it sa sideways, okay, while somebody's holding a bowl and pouring sand into the bolt, okay, and they're firing, the, fi you know, they're firing the gun uh, to see if it will keep working while while sand is being poured into the bolt, um, and and the gun was firing, you know, it was, it was working, and I said, wow, that's really a great gun. Um, and the reason why that, that, that it works so well is because they tend to overgas uh, these, these, these um, economy guns, um, which, is, which to me is a good thing. You know, the bad thing is they do tend to kick a little bit more, uh, but that said, you know, if you're shooting 223 and 556, five, uh, the recoil is kind of light anyway. Um, so by overgassing the guns, um, it ensures that when you're running two ammo through it, uh, it will run, you know, it, it'll run flawlessly, and that's primarily what I train my new shooters with, right? I, I train them with the cheapest ammo I can buy. So I usually, you know, for the last seven, eight years, I've been training people. I've been using tool ammo, and what I find is that the, that, that the cheap guns, like the Smith and Wessons, you know, the the, the Radicals, uh, you know, now Palmetto that I'm using, you know, I find that they tend to work really good with the, uh, um, you know, with with the cheap tool ammo. I'm guessing that when they when they, you know, when they're um, picking at the gas system, you know, you know, and, and, and balancing and putting the springs in and all that stuff, you know, when they're putting the gun together, they, they keep, they're taking into consideration that the people that are most likely to buy these guns are going to be shooting steel case ammunition. 
Uh, and to me, that's very important. Uh, because, for example, I have a, um, a, uh, a Ruger MPR. Okay, it's got 18 inch barrel. Uh, it's, it's, my, it's, it's, it's my best shooting gun. It gives me, uh, it, ga it gave me an inch and a half uh, grouping at 200 yards. Okay, and that's a great gun. It's accurate. Uh, and it recalls really, really light. Okay, it has a very light recall. Um, and the reason for this is because basically it's got, you know, a full length gas system. Um, and, and, you know, when they built that system, they thought that people would be using high end ammunition that, that has a higher recoil. So when you try and run cheap ammunition through that, sometimes it won't cycle as well. Okay. So, you know, that said, um, if the shit hits the fan, okay, and, and, and you know, my go to rifle is not going to be my most expensive gun that only runs on, you know, high quality ammunition. Uh, it's going to be one of these guys, okay, either the Smith and Wesson or you know, or, or, or this Palmetto because I know that this is going to run the cheap stuff and that's important to me because if I run out of ammo and I need to be resupplied, well the guy next to me, you know, he might have steel case ammo. So I need a rifle uh, that will shoot steel case ammo. Um, so, so that's one of the great things about this gun, you know, and, and guns like it. But the thing that really stands out about Palmetto uh, is that, uh, you know, you can get this gun for $350. Um, so even, you know, I mean, I never expected that I would actually buy another AR-15. I mean, I got AR-15s coming out of my ears, okay? I got AR-15s in storage for after the apocalypse, okay? So the last thing I needed was another AR-15. But, you know, when you're throwing these things out there at $350, I mean, I gotta get it, you know? Um, you know, and, and, you know, I advise, you know, even if you have a bunch of them, or even if you're the kind of guy that only buys, like, really expensive high-end AR-15s, get this one get it shoot a few rounds through it you know zero it in you know and then bury it somewhere you know hide it in your roof hide it in your basement hide it inside the walls of your house you know you'll never know when you when you'll need it okay uh and, you know and it's one of those guns it's cheap enough it's, it works good enough that you can kind of buy it and forget it okay and that that brings us back to the next point i wanted to make about palmetto armory i think that the palmetto state armory you know we'll use their full name um and the great job that they are doing in flooding the market with AR-15s, um, because you know, the Supreme Court has said that you know commonly owned firearms cannot be banned. So the more of these guns, okay, the more of these $350 guns, um, you know, we can put out into circulation, you know, and, and, and spread them across the United States like confetti paper. The less likely it is that they can be banned. Okay, so. You know, I mean, the companies that are going to save our gun rights is it's not Daniel Defense, okay? Uh, it's not Heckler and Koch, okay? It's not LaRue. You know, it's not the high end expensive AR because not enough people buy those uh, for them to be considered common use, okay? Those guys, they, you know, they might they might sell a few thousand of them, you know, maybe 10,000 a year, you know, across the US, okay? You know, these guys at $350, you know, we can sell millions of these, okay? You know, we want everybody to have one of these. Um, so this is what's going to save our gun rights. You know, we need to, to we need to sell these as much as possible, spread them across the U.S. Uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, in as high qu uh, quantity as possible. So my thanks to Palmetto Armory for doing their part uh, in protecting our gun rights. I'll talk to you guys next time.